Hi everyone, my name is Neetu and I'm a mother and I run Mind Blowing Films which distributes Indian films um, in Australia, New Zealand and Fiji and I also do the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne and Indian Film Festival of Sydney. Um, thank you to Indian Link for uh, asking me to read a little bit from one of my favorite books. Um, so a big thank you for that. Um, I was thinking what to read and I thought that I'll read um, you a little bit from a book that um, is, um, it's a very positive book which I read from time to time um, because it's quite inspiring. Um, it's a book written by Mr. Anupam Kher and it's called The Best Thing About You Is You. And um, I started my career with Mr. Kher. I was working with him uh, when I was in Bombay and he was a very good, very positive boss. Uh, I was an intern and I didn't know what I was doing, but he was always very patient and we kept in touch. And um, so he very kindly gave this book to me and my husband. Um, and I really like this book because it's very, it's a very simple but honest book about just finding what is true, being true to yourself and um, and just seeking happiness and choosing to be happy. And I think this period that we are all locked up at home has given us all an opportunity to think about that and make some choices um, that are going to help us find uh, contentment and happiness. So I'm going to um, read a little bit, which is uh, know thyself, be thyself. Um, we may not aim to actively pursue happiness, but we all wish to minimize the unhappiness in our lives. And as we do so, we will notice naturally that our happiness quotient increases. How do we minimize, if not eliminate, unhappiness? All roads lead to Rome, goes an old saying indicating that there are several paths to the same goal. It is the same thing with reducing unhappiness in our lives, depending on what vexes us the most. But whatever the formulation, the fundamental issue, as old as the philosophy of Socrates, is to firstly know thyself. This may be an old Greek saying, but its relevance is eternal. In a sense, we are what we are because we don't know who we are. It is not unusual to meet youngsters who, in their late teens, are still confused about their career choices, or young people wondering who among their friends of the opposite sex they would settle down with. Why does this happen? Because they are very unsure. They don't really know themselves. It is even more fashionable abroad for people to wander around and discover themselves. Many come to India in search of complicated new truths, but the truths are simple as much as eternal, such as know thyself. I have seen many people go through a lifetime of anger, exploding at the rottenness of our society, at the inefficiency of our infrastructure, at the enormous corruption all around in every sphere of life, at the hopelessness of our political system, the callous things they are not quite capable of or happy doing. They have been influenced by their parents and peers. Others take up careers or worse, marry because they still don't know themselves or they are simply too meek to know better. The end result is a lifetime of unhappiness. So if there are triggers in your life that make you unhappy, start reviewing yourself right now. Sit down in a quiet corner in solitude and tote up what makes you unhappy. Mentally place a mirror before yourself and then list all attributes honestly, which could be contributing factors that lead to all that unhappiness. Is your teenage son giving you angst with his low grades? Maybe you have been at him all these months, so he is protesting subtly at your overbearing ways. Take him out for a coffee and try talking to him and not talking down at him the next time and see if it makes a difference. 
Is your boss never satisfied with you? What triggers it off? Could it be your sloppy work or your fa failure to deliver on time? Think. A little bit of introspection will take you a long way on the road to self-discovery. Once the process starts, you will start finding the answers to most of your problems instead of feeling like a victim. And then, after you know thyself, get ready to be the next step. Be thyself. Thank you so much and have a lovely week. Thank you.